Now you've finished editing your video, it's time to export it and get it out there in the world. The first thing to do is right click anywhere on your timeline and find the export option. This is going to open up a menu with a few different options. For now, while we learn the basics, I want you to ignore everything except media files and possibly web video platforms. For this video, we're going to focus on just exporting our media files, but it's worth noting that you can use the YouTube and Vimeo options under web video platforms to export directly to your channel if you've linked it up to Lightworks. To export our file, we simply choose which media type we'd like to use. If you're using the free version of Lightworks, you'll only have H.264 slash MP4 available to you. I'm using the pro version, so I have a few more options available, but I'm going to select MP4 anyway, as it's probably the most common video format available and will work with just about anything you want to do with your finished video. Once you've selected your format, your export menu will open. Again, as we're just starting out, you can ignore a lot of the options available to us here. We will cover these in a the future video for you. The main one you need to pay attention to is size slash rate. On the free version of Lightworks, you'll only have 720p or lower available to you as an option. I'm using the pro version of Lightworks, so we'll have a few more to choose from. For now, let's leave it on the default option selected for us based upon our video format. All we need to do now is name our file, choose the location where we want to save it, and then hit start. And there we go, the export process has started. There was a time when this was a great opportunity to go make a drink or have a break, but unfortunately Lightworks is lightning fast, so your export will be done far too quickly for that. Now that's done, we'll switch over to the folder where we saved the video, and we can see we've got our finished file. We'll give that a quick play to make sure everything's exported out correctly. Yep, looking good. So now we've covered the basics of importing some assets, editing video and audio, doing some VFX work, and exporting our finished video. The best thing you can do now is to import your own assets and start experimenting with these basic editing techniques and just have fun with it while you learn your way around. There will be advanced editing tutorials coming in the future, so let us know what you'd like to see in those. But for now, we just want to say thank you for choosing Lightworks and we hope you have a great start to your editing journey.